It's your boy Chad Rob. We back, baby. Hey, uh, so everybody knows by now the point of this podcast is to just to big up entrepreneurship and doing your own thing and uh, you know, being your own boss, man, being your own man. So I came to Volunteer Sounds to holler at the one, the only. I let I let him introduce himself. Uh hey cuz t- tell the people who who you are that may not know. Mr. Motherfucking Mac, aka Mr. A65, aka Prime Time Cuz. They know what's up, man. Yeah, they Mr. Do. East Tennessee. That's what's up. That's what's up. And uh so we 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 here, you know, and doing our thing and uh oh yeah, as always, uh go ahead and hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. Hit uh, five stars. All negative comments, leave them in the comments, but don't let that affect the five stars or the thumbs up. This is the hashtag I am who I am podcast. This is episode 35. Mm. So, hey, uh, tell a friend, share it, like it, all that good stuff, and we're going to get right into it. So, 35? 35. Oh, man. Yeah, yeah. Word up, word up. Hey, I appreciate that. I appreciate that. But, so, I want to tell a little story. So, I remember being... I can't remember exactly what grade I was in, but I was a grade school kid, man. And uh, I was, uh, man, I'm going to say, I'm going to say seventh grade, eighth grade, man. And I remember being in Alcor, and I remember even what street I was on. I was on Bell Street. Mm-hmm. I'll never forget it. 13th Street. Yeah, yes, sir. And uh, I was sitting out there. I can't remember who I was with, but I heard somebody bang and come down the street. Boom, boom, boom. You know what I'm saying? So I ain't think nothing about it. That was normal. But the difference was he was banging his own music. Mm. It threw me off, man. I ain't never heard that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, I didn't even yeah. know it was possible. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Especially around alcohol. <laughs> well, yeah. See, you know, <coughs> see, you know what I'm saying? So so I hear it, and he gets out. And it's and it's this gentleman right here, man. He's He gets out the whip. And, uh, man, when I tell you the first time I saw him, man, he's the coolest dude I ever saw. Man, I said, man, this, this dude right here know what he's doing. And I don't know how old you were at the time or any of that. But I what I did know was he didn't care what nobody else thought around him. He was doing him, and he was doing his thing. So please tell me what made you pick up the microphone and actually put it on wax and put it in the deck, man. Uh, just first of all, it's a love of hip-hop, yeah, yeah. rap music, period. Uh, I feel like me personally, um, I'm 44 years old, so I come from that era where hip-hop started. Yeah, I've had the luxury to see it change and go from coast to coast and all yeah, that yeah. throughout the years. But just the love of music. And um, I got to say, it was another local guy by the name of Ace and the Nuts on top of 3-6 Mafia made me want to do it. Oh, wow, wow, yeah. wow, wow. See, yeah. I didn't know about the Nuts. Yeah, hottest group that ever came through Knoxville. You know what I mean? Yeah, Nico yeah. and AP. Yeah, yeah. To me, like... I was looking at them how you was looking at me. Wow. You, you feel yeah, me? Yeah, they yeah, was yeah. the hot niggas. And Five Foot Giant. Five Foot Giant. They was the hot him. niggas yeah, from, from, from my time. You yeah, know yeah, what yeah, I mean? Yeah, so yeah. these niggas was, you was like, how? That's how I'm looking at them. Wow. Like, how? Wow. These niggas putting out music here? Yeah. You feel yeah, me? Yeah, and and yeah. that just made me like, shit, I, I can do this shit too. Wow. I was always an a outgoing guy and never really gave a damn about whatever. You know, I went, I went to Alcor and I went to Heritage. So I went to school with the niggas and the, the, the rednecks. You feel me? So, so so people that may not understand what that means. So where we're from, it's uh, it's majority white yep. uh, population. Yep. Uh, the the black people is, is a small uh, demographic. Mm-hmm. And uh, Heritage, when he says that means, you know, you out of 3,000 students, you may have... Ten eight, black people. Okay, yeah, ten, eight yeah, black people. Ten, like, black yeah, people. ten black people. So that, that that lets you know. And then alcohol would be where you would get forty percent, maybe thirty mm. percent black. Me going yeah. to heritage is like a white guy going to Austin East. I got you. And Austin East is probably what hundred ninety five percent black. Black. Yeah, mm. yeah, 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 yeah. Yep. So so yeah. So that's so that, there you have it. Uh, but yeah. So talk to me a little bit about like so you. You drop your music, man. You looking up to these artists, man. You, what, what made, what made you invest in yourself? That's my main thing because, like I said, the point of this podcast is to encourage growth, progression, right. being your own boss, right? So, 
you you was you were honestly the first person I knew that took money of their own and invested in their self mm. by meaning studio equipment mm -hmm. or uh, microphones, uh, whatever the case whatever may be. Whatever the case may be. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. talk to me about like how you made that transition. She, I was in the street selling drugs. Okay. And 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 it's crazy that you asked that question because one of the people who started with me is 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 in the room right now, and yeah. we was going to a studio up in Seymour. Oh, and we okay. was doing music. We was doing music. Sometimes we wouldn't finish. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes it, it just didn't go the way we wanted it to go. Right, right. So we invested in our own studio. We was oh. like, fuck it. We're going to go get our own oh. shit so we can make music when we want to, how yeah. we want to. Not, and then a lot of studios in Knoxville back then, we couldn't get in. in we couldn't get in them. Oh. They wasn't accepting rap. Back in the early 2000s in Knoxville. Wow. Yeah, it wasn't just that easy to get in somebody's studio and go lay some lyrics down. Wow. It wasn't, it wasn't that easy. So, so talk to me about that because that never even crossed my mind because I, I mean, I know where we're at. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. it didn't, I thought money was money, a studio time, nah, a studio time. Not back then, not back wow. then. Matt Lincoln of the underground is the only one who would let us in. Matt Lincoln wow. of the Underground, he's closed down now, but he still has his studio in the basement. He was the only one who would let me, G Rapper, Blue Cheese, T and One. He's the only one, and he did five, five Foots early stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He did the Nuts early music. He's the only one who would let us in. Wow. You know what wow. I mean? And that's and then from there, we just started our own shit. We all went and got our own shit. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah, yeah, I mean? yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. So I'm guessing that's where you make the transition to Boiler Room. Bingo. Word up, yep. word up, man. Yep. So, so, so if, if anybody out there that's not from our town, East Tennessee, or yeah, we'll get to the, the progression of outside of East Tennessee, but for anybody that grew up in high school in Alcor, when I was coming up, the Alcor area, um, you knew about Boiler Room. So basically, if you're thinking about cash money before you saw cash money on TV, this was the Boiler Room. It was a group of artists with an executive producer mm -hmm. of Mr. Matt, mm -hmm. right? Yep. And uh, so they were on Williams Hill. Mm -hmm. Yeah, which I thought was cool. That's his last name. So he's recording his yeah, own work yeah, on his own yeah. street. Everything up there was named after the family. Me, granddaddy was across the street. Uncle was behind us. Wow. I lived up there in my own little place at one point in time. So wow, wow. Williams Hill, you feel yeah, me? Yeah, yeah. That's what's up. That's yep. what's up. Anybody from the, that know about the dope era down there way know about Williams Hill. <laughs> no Did a lot of trapping out there. Yeah, yeah. Well, in the music, <coughs> man, we used to hear it all the time, you know what yeah. <laughs> And it seemed genuine because I knew a lot of, you know what I'm saying, a lot of, a lot of cats out of there. So yeah. talk to me about how that is because... A lot of times when people find a way or a path to success, they like to take that path on their own. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But you but you I mean, realistically, man, you was like, Man, come on, let's all yeah. go to this to this promised land, yeah. I guess to yeah. say. So talk to me about that, man. Uh, I know that had to be just like the early guys that I looked up to, like I said, three six mafia. Yeah. Then we listened to a lot of no limit. Gotcha. We listened to a lot of cash money. Yeah. They all was crews. Yeah, 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 yeah. And the crew was the artists. You see yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, so the, my crew was the niggas who I trapped with, the niggas who I fought beside, fought with. You know what I mean? Yeah, and, yeah. And, and, but they was the rappers too. Yeah, yeah. So that the reason why I did it like that because at the end of the day, when they did get on the songs and did do what they did and said, I knew they wasn't lying. Ooh, you said something there, man. Because I knew what none of my niggas lying about nothing because I done seen them do. I rapped about shit they was doing. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, so it was yeah, like, yeah, yeah. like it was at the end of the day, I was able to not necessarily just keep an eye on everybody, but I just knew everybody, like you said earlier, was authentic. That's deep because uh, speaking of like our era, we would let niggas who wasn't living the way we was living in our crew, and it was a lot that wanted to be yeah, in, and we wouldn't let them everybody in. did. Yeah, I mean, we, we wouldn't let them in because they were not saying we was better. Or nothing, but they wasn't doing what we was doing and living how we was living. Right, right. So it just really wasn't no point. You just didn't fit in to this to what we had going on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You no, I can dig it. Yeah, yeah, I can dig it. I yeah. can dig it because uh, in our era, like you talking about that old rap, mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's all it was about. Yeah. Was keeping it real. Yeah. Saying what you do, doing yeah. what you say. Like yeah. all this flodger, flodger, you know, I don't a lot know. of bullshit going on right <laughs> now. I didn't want to say it, but yeah, you said no, it. That's bullshit. <laughs> so not we, all of it, yeah, yeah, but not, some of yeah. it is bullshit. So with that being said, it's crazy because like when you say that, man, that's that was really important in our day, man. Damn right. Yeah, I mean I ain't even gonna listen to you if I even felt you were fraud. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. So that's 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 hard, man. That's hard. That's hard. Bro, you hand me that patrol. Um, but yeah, so <laughs> I remember, you may not remember this, but this may have been your first show mm-hmm. and it was so cool to me. <coughs> it may not have been your first show, right? but it's the first show I saw you at. I, I can't remember exactly where it was, but I do remember, um, on the, uh, you had everybody on the flyer, mm. which I thought was cool. And this was, this, uh, we're talking like late nineties. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But you had like, I remember specifically, you had CK, boy, it looked like he was going in the house. He had a scully on. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You had, uh, I can't remember who else was on there. Uh, Might have been KY. I think that was one of the Morristown shows. Might have been. Yeah, Might have been. Yeah, Might have yeah. been. But uh, you had, but it was, it was just cool, man, because you always seem to be professional. I try to be. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So Even t- though we didn't have no rules back then, we didn't know nothing coming from here. But I mean, I felt like, like I said, I watched Master P. And DJ, even Diddy. Yeah, yeah, You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah, you yeah. seen all these. One thing about it, you hear a lot about a lot of rappers going broke. I've been yeah, one yeah. of them. You yeah. know what I mean? Have you ever heard of the CEO going broke? Never. You ever heard of Master P, Diddy? Suge Knight ain't broke and he in prison. Yeah, he got money too. He ain't even broke. Nah, he ain't broke. He got so much royalties and so much shit coming in, he ain't, he ain't even broke. Right, right, right. So them the dudes I followed and I watched how they put these artists out. I watched how they promote each time when, when, when Mass P put Cain and Abel out or Fiend or Mystical. I watched how they would promote them and he would promote them just as much he promoted himself. Wow. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, that's hard. Three Six Mafia promoted Skinny Pimp and Endo G and, and Lil Chat and them just as much as they sell. Cause shit, at the end of the day, the more they make, the more they blow up, the more you gon'. So you gotta approach it that way, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. And we went strictly off what we thought and what we seen and what, but we didn't have nobody telling us this is how the game go. Right, right, right. I just watched these niggas. I had so much love for the music and the only way you can do something, whether it's rap, lawn care, or work a nine to five, you have to do it every single day. Yeah, yeah, you can say that again. You gotta do yeah, it. If yeah. you're gonna be a rapper, you have to be a rapper every day. Yeah. You can't you can't get up one day and put your chains on and get fresh and the next day come out sloppy. Wow. You gotta be a rapper. When I had jewelry and shit, I wore that shit every goddamn day. Yeah, yeah. No you know doubt. what I mean? Yeah, yeah, I gotta no fly doubt. every day. I'm pulling up every day. Or even if I'm trapping or however I'm doing it, I'm doing it. Every day. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. And that's yeah. how you become what you're trying to become. You know what I mean? Yeah, Whether yeah, you're going to be doing it on a big level, a little level, or a huge level, you still got to do it every day for whatever level you're trying to achieve. <laughs> that's deep, man. Because I preach that a lot on this podcast, man. It's crazy like how when you do something every day, yeah. you get better. Yeah. It. <laughs> it's, it's called like- practice. <laughs> That's what they call it. That's what they've been calling it for years. It's practice. You feel me? Yeah, yeah. It's crazy how that works, man. But yeah, so back to like being professional, man. So that's that's so you coming in because what's what's really cool, man, is uh you know a, another message I like to preach on here. Just getting started. Mm-hmm. You gonna mess up? Damn right. You you gonna make mistakes? How can you not? Because you don't know. Damn right. But how you ever gonna? That's like that's like me walking in this room and being like walking around for hours. Looking for the bathroom with no light on. If I don't look for the light switch, you can't get to the bathroom. I can't get to the bathroom, mm-hmm. man. You one know, one step at a time. It's levels. To one shit. step at a time. So, yeah. so talk to me about that, man, because you you go from there, and then the next thing is, you know, after the shows, mm-hmm. the local shows. Mm-hmm. Talk to me about when you you know graduated, kind of uh, out of that level of thinking, like let's do shows around town, mm-hmm. out of town. My next level from that. Yeah, yeah, talk to I me. I wanted to be on the radio. Word up. I wanted to be on the radio. I already had uh Blue Cheese was he my cousin. He worked for K Jam back in the day. 1340. 1340. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, at late at night after seven, eight o'clock in Alcor, we couldn't even the, the yeah, channel yeah. go out. Yeah, yeah, no. So doubt. Blue Cheese played my first he the first person played me on the radio. And and I went to, to Knoxville just to listen to it. 
Wow. You know what I'm saying? Wow. Okay. So okay. then after thirteen forty closed, years later we had a uh, we had a uh, what was it ninety nine seven? Ninety nine seven. Yeah, you know what yeah, I mean? yeah, yeah. So I was yeah. cool with them, but I could never get in there. Matter of okay. fact, they was playing uh two deep. Riding in my Cadillac. Remember that? Oh, yeah. They were playing that. They were playing that. that. So I'm like, man, I got to get on this air. I got to get on this air. Uh, they closed down. Hot 104.5 opened up. I got uh, my manager happened to work for him. Wow. You know what I'm okay, saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. By this time, I done wrote 865. Wow. I so, done so, recorded so, 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 Okay, so slow down then. Slow down. So mm. we're going too fast. Okay. okay. <laughs> we're going too fast. Well, my fast. next thing is I wanted <laughs> to be on, on the radio. radio. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, cool, I cool, wanted cool. to be on the radio. Okay, that was, so. that was like, that's the, that's the that's how you get to the next level. Yeah. I'm looking at everybody on 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 TV, everybody on BT. At that time, we still had 106 in Park with AJ and Free and yeah, all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and all the hot artists was on BT and all of them was on the fucking radio. Yeah, yeah, no doubt. If you, I felt like that's how you just, because I was selling these units. Yeah, yeah, you the were. Yeah, yeah, you were. You were. I, I had made that mark. Yeah, 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 no that doubt. radio, I, I wanted on that radio band. Word up, word yeah, up. I wanted that. So, so talk to me since 865, mm -hmm. for anybody that may not know, that was that was that your 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 biggest hit at that time? Pretty much. Okay. So eight six five man, tell me about how you felt when you heard the beat, man. Because the because before you say something, mm -hmm. the beat is hard. Oh, stupid hard. It's, it's it's like perfect. Yeah, you know what I'm yeah, saying. The yeah. beat is hard, stupid hard. Like even today it rides. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. Like it's classic mm -hmm. sound. Yeah, yeah. classic. Yeah, and, yeah. It, and it's classic hometown sound. Yeah, but it's a worldwide feel to it. Like yeah. anybody yeah. can ride and be like, "That's just hard." It, we took it to a commercial. You got me on level. there, cousin. I'm supposed to be the one to give it a professional. Yeah, but that's how hard it is. Yeah, 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 yeah. So talk to me about when you when you walked in the studio. I don't know if you, I don't know how it happened, but talk to it me about when you heard it. It was something I knew I wanted to do. Like we went in and we worked. We started on this beat from scratch. Gotcha. You know what I mean? And it was something that I wanted to do already. I had, like I said, I had already accomplished the selling the units. I had been selling CDs in Knoxville, yeah. Morristown, Chattanooga, Alcor. I, had, I was doing that already. Yeah, yeah. But it was like, you know, when you're selling a lot of units, but the thing about it is I wanted to, to, to grab it. Everybody and I hadn't grabbed everybody yet. Yeah, yeah, I can feel that. I was from Alcor, from Rockford. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. If anybody know anything about the history, everybody know that Alcor Knoxville is always. Yeah, always. It's always been. Reason, a, yeah, it's always yeah, it's been. Always a, been a, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. That. So I was like, how can I get everybody, and 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 still rep where I'm from? And eight six five was the. You know what I mean? That's hard. Eight six five was the, the the thing that brought everybody into one. Right. You right. can't deny it because you from here too. That's hard. You you can't you can't. I, we all from the same place when I say that. Yeah, no doubt, no doubt. Now I can tell you where I was raised, yeah, but yeah, when yeah. I say the eight six five, you can't go against it, or you going against yourself. This your city, you know what I mean? Yeah, you can't yeah. go against that. Yeah. Nah, yeah, it's all, yeah. And wow. that's how I feel about that. Wow. Yeah. wow, wow. <laughs> So, <coughs> so you you said you you made it be from scratch, but I'm talking about so when you heard it though, that feeling. Man, I want to hear about that. I was feeling. ready to rap when I heard that. <laughs> doom, doom. <laughs> I was ready to go. Fool. That's what's up, man. Doink, me and Doink was in that bitch. I can't even just remember how it just yeah, went. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's you what I'm trying to Yeah, yeah. I want to yeah, take me in the studio yeah, with you, man. Yeah, it was man. me and Doink. Where was we at? What studio was we in? See, I, I picture, think I was see, on I always, Red Bud. I lived in Knoxville on Red oh, Bud. See, I always pictured that was on Williams Hill. Nah, man. nah, <laughs> nah. I left Williams Hill probably like, oh, Two oh three. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I left from up there, and that's when I, I, I took the shit to another place. You that's know what's what I mean? up. Yeah, yeah, no doubt. Yeah, no doubt, yeah, no doubt. And, and cause it was a lot going on, William C. Yeah, yeah, no doubt, no doubt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm just saying, I, people, the people want to know, man. Yeah. Like how, how, like what, how did that, like how, take, take us with you, with, you know, in the lab that day, man. man. It was so long ago, I'm trying to remember. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <no> <laughs> uh, but yeah, I just, I just remember we cranking the NPCs up, loading yeah. the sounds up, and. I had an idea yeah. already. You okay. know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, I did yeah. have an idea. It wasn't nothing to where I, we went in and listened to some tracks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had an idea already how I wanted this to go. Yeah, yeah. So we just started making it together. Because at the end of the day, me and Doink was Southern Cooked Up Funk Productions together. Wow. I didn't necessarily 
beat on pads or nothing, but I like, don't do this or don't do that. Yeah, and yeah, I did yeah. all the music arrangement. Oh, you know what I'm saying? See, I didn't know that. Yeah, know that. yeah he, he yeah, would yeah. make the beats. Okay. We would take it and dump it into our software, our DAW. I think we was using Cubase in the window at the time. Okay. You know what I mean? And uh, and um, then we w- I would mix it down, arrange it, yeah. and do all that good shit. So we was we was Southern cooked up funk productions together. Yeah, you know what I mean. So we, we I had an idea, and he was feeling the idea. You know what I mean? He yeah, was yeah. all the way with it because yeah, he was yeah. up to, he was on the same level. Dwight was that he not was is that yeah. producer? <laughs> yeah, no doubt, no doubt. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So at the time, we needed something explosive that's really gonna really blow us both up. Yeah, no doubt. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That's yeah, Olivia. Yeah. That's my niece saying that. Wow. <laughs> yeah. We got a lot to talk about. Yeah, yeah. We got yeah. a lot to talk about. Yeah, yeah. That's Trace's daughter. Wow. Yeah, yeah. We got a lot to talk yeah, about. Yeah. We got a lot to talk but, about. But, but you know, it just... I remember when the beat went down and we finally got it dumped and, and we got it to somewhat arranged and I was just ready to flow, bro. Yeah. I, I, the, the hook started coming to me. And it just started. Ooh. It just started. It just started where coming you're out. From, fool. Yeah, the yeah. AC and the where you from, wow. fool? Just to be honest with you, that came from uh, NWA. Oh, uh, wow. it's NWA. Uh, which was it? Was it? Is it? Is it gangster? Gangster? He say, "Where you from, fool? Compton." Yeah, oh. yeah. Oh, is that the Easy E song? Yeah, Easy yeah, does yeah. it, I think. Yeah, Easy does Easy it. Easy yeah, does it. Where yeah. you from, fool? Compton. Yeah, wow. yeah, wow. yeah. Uh, we got some water there. That's some music. All right, all right. So yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? That's that's. I was like, okay, this is what I want to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was so because hell, I'm an NWA fan. That's, that's that's my era when gangster music first started with NWA hitting on me. Shit. Yeah. And and, and definitely an easy E fans. So yeah. Like, yeah. Where you from, fools? So I was like, okay, the A65. We just went from there. Yeah. Yeah, we just went from there. It was like, um, I'll tell you another thing. I felt like uh, at that time, uh, I felt like I had something to prove. Okay. Too. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was time to uh it was time to step it up. Uh, I was in the streets heavy, running around, doing different things, making sure I ate and shit. Sometimes yeah. I didn't eat. Okay. You know what I mean? I was I was I was out there, you yeah, know what yeah, I'm saying? I can I but can I was that. um even with the music, you know, you went back to say at the beginning where, you know, I didn't give a fuck about this or what made me want to get out there and just not give a damn or whatnot. Yeah, yeah. And that that does take a lot. So when you do come out sometimes when you might not be up to par. The streets might be saying this, or somebody yeah, might be yeah, saying yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. So you know, it's like, all right, all right, I got a point to prove. I Snick had a, a chip on my shoulder. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, no yeah, 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 yeah. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. On top of, you know, not just that. When you live in that life and you dealing with the yeah. police, you get yeah. pulled over, especially where we yes. from, and you're getting fucked with a lot. Yeah, a lot. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So it was, it's like, shit, nigga, I got, I got a point to prove, and I got to get my ass out of here. Yeah, get no my doubt. ass in. Yeah, 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 no doubt. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because for I mean, a lot of a lot of people, man, like speaking on what you just said about having a point to prove, man, mm. like. uh it's really cool and commendable because a lot of time too, and where we're from, man, they not gonna respect your grind, your hustle anyway. Right, they're, they're not gonna respect you like that. Yeah, so they not gonna they not gonna bring it in with open arms because they think you, you you know, they gonna say you ain't all that mm. when you doing it. And they may be cold. I ain't yep. saying I ain't disrespecting nobody. Other right. people may be cold. Right. But if you ain't got no no problem, it's like it's like uh, I was in the barber shop with Charles here for us. Mm. He says, man, he's talked to a kid, want to be a producer. Mm. You know what I'm saying? He said, let me hear a beat. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like you freestyling to me versus playing me. Now here's my catalog. Right. It's two totally different. Hey, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Hey, so yeah. that 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 speaks a lot to your character. So, you know, that's the main, another reason I want to come over here is because it, 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 it's encouraging, especially to somebody like me that's watched you kind of from, like I said, on Bell Street yeah, to yeah. where we at today, right. sitting in your establishment, in your business, right? and you did it all on your own. Well, speaking of that, I mean, you saying all that, you shot my first video. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. 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 You shot gave me a chance. for me and all of yeah, that. Yeah. You gave yeah. me a chance. Well, you definitely had potential. You was good then. Yeah. Yeah. Not, but, but you gave <coughs> me a chance. And that's and that goes back to what I was saying. You said, come on, everybody. Yeah. If you're willing to work. Yeah. Let's go. Right. Yeah. Right. Right. <laughs> I had a place for 
somebody yeah, at, yeah. The, at the establishment, yeah. man. I was trying to build it. Yeah, you know, that's what yeah, I wanted to build. Yeah. Like I said, that's that's what I've seen. The successful people that I've seen, that's how they was doing it. Yeah. You yeah. know what I mean? And it goes back to work ethic, man. So, yeah, man, that's 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 hard. Yeah. So, back on this 865. So, we, we recorded the track. Yeah. How did you feel about it? Loved it. You knew it was it? Yeah. Now, I didn't know it was it, but okay. I loved it. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I okay, loved okay. it. I loved it. Uh, it was definitely representing the city, and all the niggas, all my niggas loved it. Yeah, Everybody, okay, okay, yeah, okay, all my yeah, niggas yeah, loved yeah, it. Okay, like, okay. goddamn, man. That's all, yeah. Yeah, that was just... like, yeah, yeah, that was like, that's it right yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah but yeah. I still wasn't satisfied, because at that time, uh, uh, a little bit after that, that's when uh, G Rapper had did the song, uh, I think he did something with Skinny Pimp. And then he went on to do something with damn near everybody in the wow. industry. The nigga worked with BG, Scarface, A Bond, MJG. Wow. I'm talking about he had got all these people for this one album. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now so, this going on at the same time. Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. Hell okay. yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah, if you if you if you stay ready, you ain't gotta get ready. Right. Like, keep going. <laughs> right. So from there it was like, all right, what what can I do? Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? I ain't gonna lie. My pockets wasn't long as G's. Oh yeah, well. You know what I'm saying? Whose was? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, right. Exactly. Hey, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. So she, but I started dibbling, dabbling. I went and worked with Skinny Pimp, and cause Skinny Pimp was one of my, one, and still is one of my favorite artists. Oh wow. Okay, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. That uh, that uh, 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 what is the name of that album? The red one. Not looking for the chewing bits on that album. Uh, 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 King of the Players Ball. King of the Players Ball. Yeah. Man. King of the Players Ball. In my top five albums Classic. of all time. Classic. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I went and worked with him. Uh, he out of Memphis, you know what I mean? Yeah, that yeah. basically anybody from Knoxville, usually when they go get their first feature, anybody from 865, usually when they go get their first feature, they go to Memphis. Yeah, no doubt. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I know some niggas did shit with Criminal Man. I know some niggas Ooh. did shit with uh, uh, DJ Squeaky. Oh, wow. Niggas, I know some niggas did shit with Lil Chat. They, yeah, yeah, yeah. Memphis is the first stop. Yeah, okay. You know yeah, what yeah, I mean? Yeah, I can That's that. the first stop that. when you get your feature if you're from this area. Yeah, yeah, no doubt. And no uh, doubt. Uh, so I went and did something with Skinny Pimp. And then um, I went next was Bone Crusher. Yeah. Next was Bone Crush. So that's all around that same time yeah. when you have A65 recording. Yeah. Okay. I so went and worked with Bone Crusher. So talk to me about that song because that song was hard. That yeah. Slept on. Shit. Yeah. And, and you asked when I was like, is this it? That's the song I thought was it. Oh. Uh, that's what I was pushing. Oh, it was. When I was going back to the show, that's what you would always set them up for. That's what I was pushing. Wow, wow. So I'd go, when I went to the radio station, I'd take them a demo of five songs. That's number one. Wow. That's what I want on the radio. Wow, that's hard, because I didn't I didn't know that. Yeah, that's okay. what I want on there. Yeah, bone, yeah. see, Bone, Bone Uncle married my mama. Didn't know that either. Bone wow. Uncle married my mama. Wow. Like, like, before he blew up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah, know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. I ain't really know who he was at the time. Next right, right. Day, he, he was way too short before that. I didn't know that either. Yeah, he was yeah. too short. They said, you know, never scared comes out. Mama right. said, that's your cousin. I'm like, I don't know this nigga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah. Oh, this brown nephew. Wow. You know what I mean? So yeah, yeah, she, yeah. at the time, never scared out. I'll try to link up with him. Oh, he talking big numbers. Oh, yeah. I couldn't he, afford it. Hey, man, he was the hottest. Yeah. So that was the hottest song there for a while yeah. on the charts. I couldn't afford it then. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, slow down a little bit. I hit him back up. Oh, I do it for this. Oh, I got that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Plus, I wrote the chorus. Oh, uh, so he just had to come in and perform. That's it. Wow. That's it. Wow. Okay. At the time, I'm on probation in Georgia. You know yeah, what I mean? Either. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I'm okay. on probation in Georgia. Yeah. So she, my money done got lost in the mail. So I'm on the run in Georgia. Wow. So I'm scared to drive down there. Wow. I took a Greyhound. Wow. I took a Greyhound down there. My cousin picked me up from the Greyhound. We yeah. went straight to the studio. We went and picked Bone up, went straight to the studio. He laid the chorus down. They took me back to the Greyhound. I came back to Knoxville. What? That's what's up. Hell That's yeah. What's up. Hell yeah. That's exactly That's hard, what though. You making it happen. Hell yeah, yeah. I was you know? going to. Because it was going to cost that much more to bring him up here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know yeah, what yeah, I mean? Yeah. Plus, I wanted the new experience. Got the, t uh, the studio I went to, and it was a home studio. These brothers. Yeah, yeah. Pop recorded there. Wow. 
Yeah, wow. they had the plaque on the wall. It was a, it was a song off of uh, the Are You Still Down album. Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah, Pop recorded yeah, that. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. So uh, it was good to even just get the experience and shit like that. See how some other motherfuckers run their studio to how I run mine. Yeah, yeah. I ain't not. seen nobody run theirs other than Matt Lincoln since I lit. You see what wow. I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. it was a good little experience. So, yeah, so you getting some 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 education and, right, and you get to work right. done. Getting yeah. to work with Bone. Yeah. He, he a gold or platinum artist at the time. Yeah, yeah, no doubt. You know what no I'm doubt. saying? So. That's, and, and, and so, yeah, I'm pushing. That's the record. I'm pushing. Wow. I done invested in it. Chevy Glue made the beat. Wow. You know, me and him sat down and yeah. the same thing with me and Doink. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, man, I'm going to do this with Bone. I got This is how I want the hook to go. Let's make this beat. Yeah. And we sat down together. And, and made the beat. Yeah. Wow. Dumped it. I did the music arrangement, drum yeah. arrangement, mixing masters. Same deal. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Same Dang. deal. That's what's up. That's what's up. Yeah, yeah. So... So now well, this is a, a big journey. You're trying to get to the radio because you yeah. said that's where you're going. Yeah. Okay. So what lets you know that wasn't a hit and 865 was the one? The radio did. The radio did. Yeah. They said, oh. we want this song. I gave them five songs. I gave them the two crunk songs, 865 and What Up Though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I gave them another little ride song. You know yeah, what yeah, I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. And I yeah. think I gave, them, I gave them one other hype song. It was real. It was It was country. Uh, like, I've been okay. doing this country rap shit for years. Yeah, back yeah, then. Yeah, 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 no doubt. Before Nelly, before all this new shit that's yeah, going yeah, on. Yeah, yeah, no if you're a fan of UGK, then you had that flavor yeah, in that your shit if you're from the South. Yeah, yeah, you no, feel doubt, me? no doubt, no so, doubt. So, you know, you, and, and Outkast. Yeah, yeah. You know yeah, what yeah, I mean? Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, even A Bond MJG, they all had the live guitars and, and shit like that. So, all the old music had that live shit in it that yeah, we did. Yeah, no you doubt. You know what I mean? Doubt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, uh, but the radio did. They, That's they, what's up. they, I sent them, I took the songs up there, and I, I'm trying to push this song. They're like, nah, we want this song. Like, man, I want, I want that. Nah, we want that. Wow. Yeah. And that's... And it wasn't no looking back. Wow, that's what's up. Wasn't that's no looking back. Up. That got on the radio and then came the remix. So, before the remix, talk to me about that feeling when... Because I was at, I was at, I guess your first real show when it had been on the radio mm. for you know a couple weeks or months strong mm. and it was at the Malibu mm. I'll never forget it man well, All Star was, was there wow. All Star was there yeah. uh, I can't forget I can't remember Bone I think Crush. Skinny Pimp was there Skinny Bone Pimp was there. was there D Cooley D Cooley yeah, was there the I forgot party. about D Cooley yeah D Cooley yeah, was yeah, there yeah 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 I forgot about him mm -hmm. um, <laughs> talk to me about how you felt man knowing that you Cause that's had that's gotta be a I made it moment. It was amazing, cause I was still working a job. I was working a job. Wow. By then I'm on probation. I'm done, got in trouble, trapping. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No doubt, no doubt, I'm no on doubt. probation. Wow. So I'm having to work a job, and they playing the radio, and I'm hearing my song all day working this job. Wow. Hell yeah. And so it's like she. It wasn't too long after that I quit. <laughs> <laughs> Probation or not, but he hearing it, the PO hearing it. Yeah, yeah, they yeah. can't deny me now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all yeah. know I do music, but now y'all know I am music. Yeah, I'm yeah. On the radio, yeah. I'm on the, radio. Yeah, I'm on the yeah. biggest radio station in Knoxville, so you know it ain't in just rotation. no play play in regular rotation with yeah. all the other mainstream. Yeah. So now y'all know it's not just no hobby. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah, what yeah, I mean? yeah, yeah. So that allowed me to do shows. It allowed me to go out of town and not get hassled about bullshit because I had the proof. Gotcha. Yeah, gotcha. I had the proof was right. They they kids listening to me. Gotcha. Your kids listening to me. You feel me? Yeah, so yeah, yeah, you, yeah. You yeah. gotta let me go. I'm trying to make some of myself. Yeah, yeah. I got trouble. But I'm trying to make yeah, some of myself now. Yeah, you yeah, feel yeah. Me? yeah. No doubt, no mm -hmm. doubt, no doubt, no doubt. So that feeling though was amazing. It was amazing, man. Just you know, everybody. I'm I'm in the hood. I'm still living in the hood. Still working. Cars going down the street, bumping it. You know what I mean? It just it just was a great feeling. It was wow. different than. Like when I first came out with my first shit, people in the hood fucked with it. Yeah, no when doubt. When we dropped shit, people yeah. and I would hear people playing yeah, it. Yeah, and yeah, no doubt. Shit, yeah, but yeah, no doubt. To hear that radio everywhere you go, everywhere, and you hearing yourself on the radio, that shit, it just that's what you work for. That's what yeah. you're working towards. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean. Yeah, that's what the, the goals you're trying to achieve and get to. You know yeah, what I yeah, mean. Yeah, so yeah. it's like it was like another mark off. You know what I mean? Like, damn, okay, I got this done now. What's yeah. next? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You feel me? Yeah, but yeah, it was yeah. just, it's just, it's a blessing. 
is a major blessing. You know yeah. what I mean? Thank you to the higher power of God. It's a major blessing. Yeah, yeah. Um, and it's it's part of the reason why I'm still here today, pushing on. So okay, so you you said the remix, mm -hmm. and that was hard. It had uh, what Buck. All -Star, no, we have uh, Yo Gotti, Yo Gotti, All Star, Lido, All Star, and D Cooley. And D Cooley, yeah, yeah we did D Cooley with Buck. D Cooley came along. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah we did yeah. another one with Buck with all the same. That's the one. Lineup. That's the song. King. I like. Yeah, King. That's, King. That was hard. Yeah. That was my track. I yeah. like that. Yeah, that was. I like the AC Five, the, the original. I yeah. didn't like the remix that much. I, I've heard that. Yeah, yeah. I've I mean, heard not, people not, say they like the remix better. Yeah, it's yeah, different yeah, strokes yeah, and different folks. But the original, man, my I still like that. Yeah, yeah. Word up, word up. And that's always a blessing too to hear people say they like the original better because that was me by myself. Well, yeah, it was hard. Yeah. It was hard. Yeah. And it was, it was perfect for yeah. what it was. You yeah. know what I'm saying? It was yeah. perfect. I mean, it's, it's for the city. It's for the ACs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It yeah. did its job. Yeah. Yeah, it did its job. And let people know around the city that was doing the same thing too that you could do. It's it. possible. Yeah. It is possible. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 You see, the nuts it's and possible. five foot giant there made me feel that way. Yeah. You know, yeah. even the SOBs. Yeah. SOBs was before five foot and the nuts. They was the first group I seen in a concert with Top Authority at the Coliseum. Wow. Wow. Coliseum, that's back in the early 90s. Wow. Way before I thought about doing anything. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, no doubt. Break, no yeah. Doubt. So, if you could pick a, a favorite artist that you've gotten to work with over the years, who, who would you say is your favorite artist that you've worked with? Oh. Uh, shit. Yeah, I know it's you got some you got some you got some bangers. Have you ever worked with Fly? Play a Fly? We done talked several different okay. times, but we never didn't just we just could never. I was come just to curious, it. man. Fly, yeah, yeah that's my. I, I wanted to have it get him on Tennessee Titans. The last mm. person I got to work with, I got to work with Kustanika before he died. Wow. Yeah. Speaking of that album. Man, your boy D Money verse on that one that with me and him and Project Pat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's some heat. Yeah. But yeah, go ahead. I ain't yeah. need that. <laughs> uh, and that's probably it. Project Pat. Uh, I can dig that. Project Pat. That. Yeah. Yeah, I can dig yeah. That. Project Pat is yeah, probably yeah. like like the my favorite artist that I got the and, and Skinny Pimp. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, no yeah, 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 Skinny yeah, Pimp. Yeah, Skinny, but yeah. Project Pat. Yeah, that's yeah, what's yeah. up. That's what's up. Lido was cool to work with. Even Gotti. But yeah. Project Pat, that nigga. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and Lido would show up. I know he show up for you. Yeah. Yeah, he yeah, would show up yeah, for you. you yeah, know what I'm saying? Lido, cool. Lido cool in the studio. We worked with him in Nashville. We don't work with him up here. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, we worked yeah. with him in several different places. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shows. We yeah. traveled with him. So Lido all the way 100. You right, know what yeah, I mean? No Definitely doubt, no a good doubt. nigga to work with. And just, I mean, his lyrics is... He one of the most uh, yeah, that, underrated artists in the game, <laughs> if you ask me. Yeah, yeah, he, uh, yeah, he is. Uh, but everybody come on the podcast, man. I need to know your top five artists of all time, and I don't mean like, you know, you know how you get it. And with you, I, I probably don't even need to say this, but I will just because I do every time. Yeah. But uh, I ain't talking about like popularity contests. I'm talking about like what's in your deck. Like if you having a rough day, man, something getting on you. You know what I'm saying? When you was coming up, man, and wasn't making no ways. Who you got in the deck, man? Like who, uh, your top five artists, man. Top in, or, five. in order too. Five in order. Being, yeah, and five being the least, and one being your your go to, man. Your your greatest uh, rapper of all time. And I don't care if they got one verse you done heard. They spit five. Or if they got a catalog of hundred deep, you know what I mean? Uh, Tupac, each one. LL Cool J. LL Cool J's two. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. I've, the way you worded it, I I was gonna put LL first. Okay. Well, no, it's the see, and that's the key. The words is the key. Yeah. Because yeah, yeah, yeah the way yeah, you yeah. worded it, so I'm, I I gotta go with Tupac first. Okay. Yeah, Tupac, LL Cool J. LL Cool J is a new one to the podcast. Yeah, people don't give. I told you I see I've I seen hip hop start. I yeah, was there yeah, right yeah. after right I was there right after it started. Yeah. You know what I mean? It yeah, started yeah. in the early seventies. I wasn't born in seventy five. Yeah, 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 yeah. So you know by the time I got able to listen to it and yeah. recognize So you just kinda call every basically that's what I'm yeah, saying. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, yeah, LL yeah. was there. Well, and I got to remember, with LL, man, I remember my cousin turned me on to I Need Love when mm -hmm. I was in Nashville. And I must have listened to that song up. A thousand and times that was in a the row. second album. Yeah, see. So you caught him, and, and then I went back and heard Mama said, "Knock you out." That was after. That was after that. Yeah, so, so I missed the first album. Yeah, radio. Yeah. You know what I mean? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Radio. I went, but I went back. And you know how I heard radio? How you heard? I did a break. I was at a break dancing contest at Walmart. 
And a I break place, the a break at, Walmart, at, Walmart, at Walmart, at East Tennessee, at Walmart. It had to be the one in Maryville. So that's, that's where tape, we're from. That's where and I want to <laughs> tape, and it was LL Cool J Radio. Wow. I picked LL Cool J Radio. I had already heard um, Rock the Bells. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? So yeah, yeah, LL yeah. Cool J had that. Uh, he was he was that yeah, uh, back then. He was. You know what I mean? He was the hard rapper. But yeah, a, a Tupac, LL Cool J. Um, let's see. Um, Jay Z, Jay Z three, yeah, he get a lot of love on the podcast. Yeah, Jay Z hard man, yeah, Jay Z yeah, yeah. hard man yeah, for yeah. real. Jay Z, uh, I probably have to say, uh, Skinny Pimp, okay, and Scarface. Ooh, yeah, Scarface, yeah, yeah. Scarface, yeah, yeah, Scarface and Skinny Pimp fighting for that. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah but yeah. I can listen to anyone. Bad day or whatever, they gonna get they me gonna through. Ride, ride. They gonna show me. I'm gonna hear what I need to hear to get on through. Well, what I need to get through. Well, this, I mean, this means a lot to me because I remember, uh, I remember being in Nashville a lot around the time Skinny Pimp was dropping that uh, that blue album or the white album where he on the front with the, with the strap. Return of the King of the Players Ball when he gave the, Alcor the shout out. Oh my Alcor, man. yeah, and that, that had me the hardest person in the yeah, city yeah. because I was like, yeah, that's where I'm from. Yeah, from Alcor. and he was the first person to give us that shout. <laughs> yeah, nobody yeah. had gave he us broke that it shout. Down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Skinny, you know, three six gave Knoxville a shout yeah, out, yeah. but Skinny Pimp gave Alcor oh, a shout yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, that made yeah. me feel bigger than life. Yeah, yeah I'm man, like to give us a shout out, man. I thought it was. I thought we was. We had made it. You yeah, know what I mean? so that's, yeah, that's yeah. Hard. That's yeah, hard. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and let us know we have been recognized. Yeah, other than just yeah. football or our plant, right, or right, right. Denzel. Right, 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 right. No doubt, no doubt. But yeah, I don't want to hold y'all. I know you got work to do. But uh, so talk to me about getting the deal because a lot of people. Uh, don't really realize like you from Alcor, Tennessee, man. What you think the population is in Alcor? In Alcor right now, what about twenty ten thousand? Ten thousand about ten thousand. So you know you hear the line from Jay Z, if you can make it in New York, you can make it anywhere. Yeah. I beg to differ. Right. If you can make it out of Alcor, Tennessee. You can make it anywhere. Anywhere. Yeah. You can make it out of Knoxville. You can, you can make, make it anywhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we're yeah. speaking on just Alcor right yeah, now. You can. Yeah, you definitely can. You definitely can. If so, you can make it out of Alcor. Look at Randall Cobb. Yeah, yeah. That nigga just signed a new deal for $27 million. <laughs> There you go. You feel me? Yeah, that's, that's hard. Shannon Mitchell played <laughs> in the Shannon NFL. Mitchell. Hard. You know what I mean? He went to the Super Bowl. Yeah. Hard. Hell yeah. Hard. Hell yeah. Yeah, yeah. Albert Davis. Big Albert Davis. Yeah. Shit, if you can make it out of the alcohol, you can make it anywhere. Anywhere. So, talk to me about the feeling, man, when you got the deal, man, and you you basically own, man. Like, you you turned your, what was, uh, some would call a hobby. You knew it wasn't just a hobby, though. Right. But the outsiders, we like, that's a hobby. We mm. giving you a hard time on yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. We like, nah, you should stop that. Get yeah. you a real job. Yeah. You should quit. Mm. You should just surrender. Throw in the towel. You ain't going to be no right. You ain't going to ever be 32 no rapper. 32 at the time. Yeah, you ain't going to be no rapper. Yeah. Rappers is, is, is 15. Yeah. yeah. They little Bow Wow. Yeah. Or whoever. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So talk to me about that feeling when you got the deal, man. It was, it was, I felt like I overcame all of the bullshit. Like yeah. you just, the shit you just talking about, like. I told you I had felt like I had a point to prove. I had a chip on my shoulder. Yeah, yeah. So when I made that accomplishment, I'm like, shit, there's a lot of niggas who did sit the first, but I'm the first to do this. You the first. And I'm I got paid off of it. Got paid. Yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah. The first. Hell yeah. yeah. I'm yeah. the first. I I really made all the hard work had really started paying off. Yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? It's like it's finally coming back to me. So it's like shit. Another amazing feeling. You know what I mean? Um, um, it wasn't no play play though. You know what I mean? It's a job. Right? Yeah. It's a real job. Yeah, yeah talk to him about yeah. that. Talk to him about yeah, that. Yeah, it's like, um, this were the ups and downs about the deal coming. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Cause at the end of the day it felt great, but the label wasn't doing things that I thought they were supposed to do. Yeah, yeah. Here yeah, comes yeah. stuff that I don't know about. Yeah. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. Even though I do know all this over here, it's, okay, now I'm dealing with some corporate yeah, you, motherfuckers. Yeah, you know, yeah, you went to the new new stadium, new field. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like, okay, I don't know this, I don't know that, but I still got to do what I think I got to yeah, You got to just do it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you just got to go with the flow. Yeah. But, um, I mean, it was cool, um, you know, 
at the end of the day, I got paid, so I definitely never complained. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Never complained. Yeah, but yeah. it was more bragging rights than anything. Well, yeah, and that's, that's hard. Because it was other <laughs> niggas that was, I heard, was buying deals. Wow, you can buy a deal? Buy a name. <laughs> Oh, yeah. You can still buy a name. Yeah. I'm trying to buy one now. Online. Yeah. Check yeah, you can buy a name and attach it to what you got going on. Gotcha, and, gotcha. And they, it was people trying to compare that to what I had going nah, on, but nah, it wasn't the same. Nah, it wasn't. Because I, I watched you literally, like I said, from Bell Street. We started at Bell Street. Yeah. With you riding, bumping your music. Mm -hmm. So now we sitting in his in his business. Yeah. That's his picture on the wall. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. it's like, yeah, like, nah, it's not the same. No. Nah. It's not the same. No. Nah. It's not the same. And last thing, man, I, I, I want to ask you about your son, man. Mm -hmm. She got a crush. That was a hit, man. Yeah. What happened with that? Yeah. She, you that know, was a hit, He had a couple cause. labels looking at him. Okay. He was doing the damn thing. That was uh, a hit, cuz. I was at a little kid birthday party, man. That's all I heard. Yeah. The whole time. <laughs> he, was was he was getting booked for parties. He was getting booked for shows. He was getting paid. That's what I'm 10. saying. That's what I'm saying. Uh, what happened he, with that? He didn't want to do it no more. Oh, so it was him. Yeah. I got you. I, got I, you, I, I got you. wasn't going to force it. It had already slick been forced. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, it was, yeah, it was, I, this how it happened. Jay, you want to do this? Yeah, daddy, I'll do it. He did it, and that happened, and it yeah. happened really fast. Yeah, it happened real fast. That wasn't expected. Yeah, it was. I've been, I have been doing it for a long time already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I had different plugs now. And you the you the you the magic you the coach yeah you the you the yeah. you like hey yeah. I know the I know what we need to at, run at this time I'm signed and everything yeah yeah and you know so how I, to had, I had different plugs and that you I had never your, had before and you took your bruises yeah so you was like hey, my son ain't gonna take these yeah we good yeah he can at least yeah. make it to this point right no problem right but yeah. he, he didn't want to do it no more wow he uh he did it for a while he was getting paid for shows he opened up for Lil Wayne he opened up for the Sugar Hill Gang wow uh, was uh, that that Lil Wayne that concert Lollipop. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Man, Lil Wayne shut the city down. Yep. Like, so I, yep. I know he yep. shut the show did. Show did. So uh and then he was on they was on my single with Universal. When I was signed, mm -hmm. he was on the single. He was on that. the chorus. Yeah, he's so that. fly joint. Yeah. Him and Tracy's yeah, kids. Yeah. yeah, yeah he's joint yeah, right yeah. here. That's one, what's up. Yeah. yeah, yeah. They, yeah. They, was, they was all on it together. You yeah, know yeah, what yeah, I mean? yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah, he just man, by the time everything got to push it, he was like twelve. He had through a couple parties, was making his own money, but he got into school. He he's uh, I think it was a little bit more pressure than we knew about. Yeah, it is. And he just he didn't wanna he just didn't wanna do it no more. He wanted to play football, he wanted to be it. a kid, yeah, so I let him. Yeah, I ain't force him. We started working on a second project and we just never finished it. I can do that. But he's back. Oh, he's back? Yeah. Word up. Yeah, Word up. Word he's back. Up. Uh uh, we got this uh we I know this coronavirus shit going on, so we got the Silent <laughs> Baby show. Our Sada Baby Show got rescheduled from March to April. Oh, okay. Cool, and he's cool, opening cool. for Sada. Oh, nice. nice. Yeah, nice. So yeah, yeah. Pick up right where you left about to drop. Word everything. Up. We already got his artwork done. He just got his ass cap. He's, 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 he's registered. He's moving. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he got all his paperwork done Word and everything. It's all up. the way legit. You Word know what up. I'm Word up. Word so up. So he about to come with it. Him and my other artist, Light Skin Kelby. Word they, up. Word they, up. they about to come stupid hard. Word up. Word up. But Jay back in and the engineer in the studio. Word up, yeah. word up, man. Yeah. So that's that's what I like to hear, man. But uh, tell tell them just a little bit about you know where they can find you at, and tell them what you got on the horizon, mm. and uh, you know everything just popping off. Oh yeah, and then uh, I'm gonna show y'all around the studio as well, man. Uh, show y'all how he gets down, man. What he what he working on, man. Y'all need to come down here to Volunteer Sounds if y'all need any any work done, mm. podcast work, uh, video work. Uh, y'all do uh, album covers. Everything. Record do music, everything. whatever you need. Management, so, promotion, yeah, everything. There you go. But yeah, tell them, tell them a little bit about you know what you got on the horizon and where they can uh, find you at. Got new music. We're working on some new music. The OG is coming out with Return of the Mac. Uh, I, I'm coming with these little Mac and series, actually. They ain't going to be nothing, probably about three or four songs, each one. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Return of the Mac, Born the Mac, Mac and 101. I got that Born the Mac from the old two short album, Born the Mac. That's what's uh, up. That's uh, Mac and 101, Immaculate. Uh, I'm just doing this Mackin series, two, three, three to four songs each project. You oh wow, me? yeah, I can yeah, do it. I can do yeah, it. and then and then my artists uh, Jay and Lightsky Kill me. I'm going to be pushing them just to it's the hard. max, That's to the up. max. That's These dudes up. is just Jay back like he ain't never left. 
But yeah, like he, he had it though. Yeah, yeah, he yeah, yeah, yeah. He's saucy and he doing his own thing. He is yeah. he do not sound like the rest of these guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He doing his own thing. He is not trying to be somebody. He not trying, you know. Yeah, yeah. He's not trying to be somebody else. Right, you know right, what right, I mean? Right, right, right. I can be. He, he got his own little swag. Light skin Kelby bringing this rock and roll rap thing together, Ooh, and it's just can't wait to hear that. The music, the wave that these dudes, these little young dudes, is bringing. Yeah, yeah. Just, it makes me. I have to get behind. It. Right, right. I right, have right, to push right. it, and I'm. I'm looking it. to sign more artists. Uh, uh, right. Solid Enterprises is the management company. Uh, I want to sign. I'm looking to do push more artists, and it's called Enterprises because it's not all about just music either. Ooh, if you got right. a dope idea, and I feel like it can go, I'm, I want to be behind it. I want my hands in on it. You yeah, feel no me? doubt. I, no I, doubt. I know who to. I know who to call. Yeah, no doubt. <laughs> you no know doubt. what I'm saying? No doubt. No yeah, doubt. I know who to call. So it's like shit. And it's pumping volunteer sounds up, volunteer sounds, volunteer sounds. This this studio is my life. Uh, I've been working hard to put it together for a long time. This the new location. I got pushed out my other location because we were smoking weed and shit. My neighbors oh my God, didn't like man. me. I was shut down for Forget about neighbors, almost man. two Just... months, but I'm back. Yeah, yeah, like yeah, I'm you know. all the way back. We got a nice location. The people, the artists love it. And we cater to the artists. We're here to help artists groom. Yeah. We're here to, make, here to make artists sound better, be better, feel better about themselves. And, you know, come to Volunteer Sounds and fuck with me. Yeah, no doubt. No doubt, man. Yeah, this is yeah. a great place to be, man. It's a great place to be. Like, so I'm going to show y'all around so y'all can get a, a good feel of what you're walking into. But, uh, yeah, on that note, man, I just want to say, man, Mac, man, Mr. Mac, man, uh, man, it's... it's it's an honor, man, to have you on the podcast because, man, I, I, I saw your beginnings and I know you've inspired that feeling out of other people around you over the years. Yeah. But now I can see the young cats is really yeah. taking your lead and, and, yeah. you, and you're giving back, man. You're doing what you've always I done. I got to. I got you're doing to. what you've always done, man. And that, to me, man, is what this podcast is about, man. We cannot give up, man. Just because you in a situation you don't like, change it. Change and the only it. way to change it is to do it. Yeah, yeah. And you may mess up. Yep. It may not be hot. You may not get a thousand likes. Mm-hmm. You may not get a thousand views. But you will grow from that. You will learn yeah, how right. to maneuver through it. Yeah. So just get started, man. Just if, get started. If you ain't bed rest or dead, it ain't no excuse. Yeah, it ain't over. You, yeah, yeah, yeah. You just gotta keep going. It might not always work, but she is Eventually it will. You just gotta, yeah. you just gotta go and just go, go, go until your time come. Yeah. Just don't, don't stop. You never know when it's going We could run into Diddy today. We could run into Gates today. You never know. We could be, you could run into Bill Gates today. And you ain't got nothing to show him. Yeah, yeah. So nothing you, to you, let him you hear. gotta, you gotta, you gotta keep going. You, you, you never know when it's your time. And then if the shit working for you. This shit, you definitely ain't supposed to give up. It just, it took me outlets now. Yeah, yeah. It just took me outlets, man. These, you know, even with the young people, the young people inspire me. I got some young guys back there right now. Yeah, the tech bomb, yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna, we're These niggas is just yeah. really coming with it. They really working and just trying to perfect their craft. They yeah. stay in the studio. They stay invested in themselves to try and be better. Right. So that shit motivate me. That shit make me want to be better. You know yeah, what I mean? I'm talking yeah. about street niggas, hood niggas. Yeah. Some of them bangers. Yeah. Some of them regular niggas with jobs. Yeah. But they all coming through here trying to make that shit happen. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. They don't give a fuck. Like, I didn't give a fuck. <laughs> exactly. They don't give a fuck. You know what exactly. I'm saying? Exactly. And, 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 I, and that inspires me to continue on and not give a fuck. And go for what I know. Yeah, so, yeah. man, on that note, we're going to end it off. This is the hashtag I am who I am podcast. This is episode 35. And for a lot of people, y'all may not remember Neil Anderson for the Chicago Bears. Mm, Neil Anderson. <laughs> you may not see. I'm a Bears fan. Yeah. But he was 35. No, he, yeah, he was 35. Neil I, Anderson. 85 Bears? He was, nah, he wasn't no 85. He wasn't no 85? Yeah, yeah. Nah, he was like 90 something. But okay. yeah, look him up, Neil Anderson, man. He was thirty five, man. He played running back. Yeah, he was cold. He was okay. straight. Yeah, he okay. was straight. He was okay. straight. But uh, he wasn't like the realest. He ain't Hall of Fame. He wasn't Walter Payton. <laughs> nah, yeah. nah, nah, yeah, nah. That was thirty four. <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. He was thirty four. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no doubt. But uh, yeah, on that note, man, chase your dream, chase your passions, don't give up, and that's it. And as always, I'll be back. G. Yeah, I want to tour this jump, man. 
Welcome to Volunteer Sounds, the dopest studio in East Tennessee, the 865. You feel me? You're now chilling in the lounge. We're in the lounge. We got the motherfucking PS4. Small little TV up on the wall. So when the motherfuckers want to come in here and just chill, smoke some weed or whatnot, wait for the next session, then bam, this where you can chill at the lounge. When it get late and, and I don't feel like going home, I'm couch turning into a sleeper. I take my ass to sleep. You feel me? The hustle don't stop. This is the trap house. You feel me? Shit. Welcome to Rome B. What's up, P Bro? There's dope, dope, dope hot artists in this motherfucker working right now. You know what I'm saying? Yo, Cap, pull, pull up the max. Yourself, pull up the max. Bob Diggity. Yeah. yeah. KB Tramp. Pull up the pull up the max. No cap. Room B, all in the studio. You see, they feeling the vibe there. Hey, man, chilling. chicken game, man. Straight chicken game, man. Scully game, man. Hey, Scully game. You see, chicken, <laughs> chicken, chicken, chicken now. Oh, my God. <laughs> Scully game, man. Yeah. Artists like to come here, man, cause they get to just be them. There's plenty of privacy. They get to chill, smoke their weed, vibe out. You know what I mean? Just catch a good feeling and make that dope ass music. You know what I'm saying? So, shit, we also gonna take you here. Podcast room. We also do podcasting. See, we got the podcast studio, full blown Mevo cameras, Mackie monitors, iPads, all that good shit. Straight live stream. You ain't on live stream. You ain't on nothing. You know what I'm saying? So that's how we get it down. Podcast room B. We're gonna take y'all and show y'all some more of the studio. Check out my artwork up. We got Pop on the wall, Bob Marley on the wall, R.P. the Milk. We got the lobby where you come up in this joint and come in, sign in, and all that. It's usually somebody here to greet you but they ain't here tonight, you know what I mean? But shit, you got the, the, the all my shit, my accomplishments on the wall. That's what you come when you come in volunteer sounds, you can already tell it's about hip hop, rap. You feel me? Straight rap, dope ass music. Room, man. You know what I mean? This the dope room, this the room where everybody wanna get in. Uh, everything we run is Pro Tools, you know what I mean? This is the sound of the C. See everything, just dope, Newman microphone, beat, headphones, all the good shit, all the shit that everybody wanna record on is, is what we use. Come through the kitchen, we gotta clean our kitchen up, man. But you know, you wanna, we got shit, we wanna take a break. We wanna go out back, smoke, some people wanna go out back, smoke their cigarettes, we wanna come in, you know, you got people doing these six hour blocks and shit and 12 hour blocks and shit like that. Sometimes they need a break. They come here and chill. They might order pizza or, you know, they might have an entourage in here playing some dominoes or whatever, just just chilling, you feel me? And that's how it go down at the studio. Just to, we, we, we are here to cater to the artists. You know what I'm saying? It's all about catering to the artists and it's volunteer sounds, the sound of the city. And you hit me up. 865-579-0600 We got a Facebook page Volunteer Sounds We got an IG page Volunteer Sounds uh, Light Ski Kelby Jay the Sensei Our dope engineers Me, myself I'm an engineer I mix and master I still create So, you know Hit us up It's going down, man Stay about your business If you about some music I'm the guy to see